Marcus Conti reporting. So, uh, I read a comment. This is Rob Mack, 10 hours ago. Thank you, Rob. Rob Mack. Rob Mack says, quote, You are getting off point. Get over side issues and get back to the big picture. Take a deep step back and look. Take a deep breath. What are you missing? Rabbit holes limit vision. Ooh. Oh, fucking Rob, you're killing me, man. You are killing me. Oh, shit, I missed it. You fucking rabbit hole. Thank you, Rob. Right? It's all conspiracy, right? Different rabbit holes. Oh, we're going to reform the political party. <laughs> Q. Q, the answers. I'm going to give you the answer. You want the big picture? Okay, you got it. I've been saying it all along. Got a lot of new people watching, but I'll say it again. What else? Yeah, you got your, you know, your conspiracy theories, right? I know. I know. I'm with you. Spartans! Advance! All right? This is the shit right here. I'll tell you. You want a revolution? You want to wait around for the... Uh, you want to wait around for politicians to clean it up? You want to wait for the banks to regulate themselves? <laughs> right? You want to wait for Q to give you the answer? These two kids over here? I could... Uh, two kids walking. I could walk over to them and say, So, what do you think of the new Q drop? And they look at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, do you think that Jenny Moore was uh, murdered by the FBI? Or do you think that the drunken boyfriend beat the shit out of her? <laughs> They'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about, guy. What are you, crazy? Rabbit holes. So, Spartans. This is how we win. Five points. I'm going to go the other way. I feel better going that way. Number one. Military industrial complex ends now. If you're in the military, desert. Parents of your 18 to 25 year old children, bring them home. Military, lay down your arms. The war is over. Join the people. People, arm yourself. Arm yourself. But we don't want violence. Right? We don't want violence. We want nonviolence. We want you to join us in this revolution. See, we can bring the oligarchy down in, in hours, if not a day or two, if not within a week. See, there is no waiting. There's no more waiting. You could wait all you want. And that time will never come because the people you're waiting for don't give a shit about you. I got a Mack truck that I'm about. I don't know why the hell these trucks are in the fucking park. Anyway, stand by. Stand by for my manifesto. <laughs> this is the real world. You never know when a truck is going to come fucking rolling into, you, rolling into your set, right? That's the real world. Keep pressing on, right? Military industrial complex, $700 billion a year wasted on a war, wasted on an enemy we don't have. $700 billion. We want our fucking money back. Right? Military, lay down your arms. Law enforcement, lay down your arms. Lay down your arms. Join the people. Number two. Number two. Banking industrial complex. It is the banks, it is the credit companies that are controlling our economy. You have a mortgage? Fuck you, we're not paying. You have a credit card? Fuck you, we're not paying. 
5%, only 5% of all assets in the bank in terms of liquidity, liquid cash, is on reserve in a bank. If you take out 5% of the money, the banks freeze. We're calling on a freeze of the banks. Freeze them. Right? We will not be slaves to 30 and 40 year mortgages. We want our land back. We want our land back. Banking industrial complex. Over. Bankers. Fuck you. Freeze the courts. Oh yeah? How, how are you going to collect? How, there's, a, there's millions of empty homes in the United States. And millions more with, that are called investments for, for rich cocksuckers that don't even live in them or don't, aren't even American. All right? Number two. Excuse me. Three. Spartans. Pay attention. Number three. Pharmaceutical industrial complex. Medical. You have, you have medical bills? Fuck you, we're not paying. Yeah? You need you need medical assistance? Fuck you, we're not paying. Walk into the hospitals, take over. Right? See, it's not what we do, it's what we don't do. That's the revolution. Politicians? Oh, you're not on our side? Fuck you. Get out of the way. Number four. Big oil. Walk. I walk. Yeah, it's nice. For now, take OPEC down. Take them down. Sink the stock market. See, the answers lie in the stock market. It's a financial problem. I've been telling you that all along. You want to stop? You want to fix a financial problem? You want to chase around spooks and FBI people down rabbit holes and, and, and all that shit? That's fun. You know, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. But it's not going to fucking solve the problem. Right? Because we know the problem. The problem is that 19 out of 20 donuts are going in the pocket of the banks. And they make you fight over the, one, the last one donut on the table. That, my friends, is the problem and always has been the problem. Rob, the big picture, Rob Mack, that's what it is. I've been saying it all along, right? But people, people are not ready. People, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. I've said this in 25 different videos. And now, you, now people, I think, there's signs of waking up, signs of it. Number five. And that'll be it for now. Immigration. Over. Seal the borders. America first. Americans. I know we love you. We know we love your immigration. We love you and your, your cultural uh, contributions to our great nation. However, we have a fucking problem right now. And then we need to solve this problem amongst ourselves. So for now, immigration... No more. Close the border. Done. If you violate those rules, if, if, if non-American citizens are granted rights that American citizens are fighting for, treason. See, that's revolution. I've been saying, I mean, it's, it's not hard to figure out. Demilitarize. Right? Take the guns away from the cocksuckers that are going to try to stop you from doing it, right? Destabilize the banking, right? For a while, it'll get messy. That's okay. Love each other. Don't shoot each other. You're not the enemy. Looting is not the problem. Trade. Indian trade. We need to establish a new deal in America, right? We need, a, we need, we need politicians that respond to the people. But what are the people doing? The people are, 
are, are, are stuck down rabbit holes and, and confused and scared and, and intimidated by what? By a bunch of, bunch of cocksucker bankers that, that hang out, you know, inside the bowels of Goldman Sachs and, and City and J.P. Morgan and these guys running the show, paying off the politicians. That's who you want. That's who you want to fix the problem. The people that own the fake media, that promote a fake narrative to you and your kids and your kids' as kids. That's who you're waiting for. We're what we're waiting for. Stand up. It's that you ever see that meme where there's there's um there's there's these guys playing cards on the table, right? And I want to make sure my microphone. I want to make sure you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So there's these guys playing. They're playing um, cards on the table. Right? They're fucking playing cards, right? The card game's going on, right? And all rich cocksuckers, they got like the cigars and they're drinking their martinis, right? But then when you look under the table, it you see it's like, it's us. It's all the bodies holding up the table, laying down on our fucking back, laying down on our, all fours like dogs, holding up the table. We're the legs of the table. And all we have to do is get up and the game is over. All right? These dogs running around the park. You think they give a fuck about Q? <laughs> all they want to do is sniff each other's asses again. That's all. all. right? Get back to a simple life. It's not that complicated. Why are you working nine out of your ten... Why is nine out of your ten hours of labor go to supporting a war we don't need, a wars, insurgency wars all around the country that we don't give a shit about? When it could come to feed the people. Right? Have that money come down into the economy. And fuck you, socialist. Fuck you, capitalist. Fuck you, monopoly. You cunt faces. Fuck you. None of that exists. It's in your fucking mind that that exists. That the propaganda machine has convinced you to fight amongst each other and not against them. See, the terminology doesn't mean anything anymore. What we need is a new deal, and I just told you how to do it. Yeah, we, it's, you know, we'll go back to our own little rabbit holes. You guys will come out and say, oh, Conti, fucking, you don't know what you're talking about. This crazy guy in the park walking around with a joystick, wants to be the senator. Fucking, <laughs> see, so watch a dog sniff each other's asses. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's crazy. Am I? It's a beautiful day in New York, man. That's my bridge right there. That's my bridge of size. We all have a bridge. We all want to connect. And if our communication goes down, right? Hey, doggy. If our communication goes down, see the dog? Ah, beautiful dogs. We'll communicate. It will. They'll fight. One week. That's all. That's all it takes. When? Now? Later? Now? My grandmother used to say, I'll leave you with this final story. We used to have a tomato garden in Staten Island, right? In the, in the backyard in, the, in, the, in, the, in Staten Island, over the bridge. And it was that story and, and walking the dog. But my grandmother would say to me, Mark, go outside and water the tomatoes. <laughs> Take the hose and you water the tomatoes like five o'clock right, every day. I would say, yeah, n n wait, later, now. Wait, do you want me to do it now? Wait, later. I'll do it in a minute. Now? Oh, wait, wait, I got something to do later. And she used to come back with, she used to call me, now, wait, later. <laughs> now? Wait, later. Same thing with walking the dog. Dog's got a dog's fucking crying. Want to go for a walk? I say now. I'll wait later. The time is now. That's the time. That's the time it is. The time is now for revolution. Everybody, cue jerk offs. Get your head out your fucking hole. 
fucking Bernie Bros. You ain't gonna reform those fuckers. <laughs> They're playing you like whores. They're playing you like flutes. Huh? Trump people. The Republicans ain't gonna save your ass. They keep telling the economy's getting good. You guys are fucking suffering and you know it. And you're gonna continue to suffer. Oh, I'll tell you some crumbs. Oh, I can give you extra five hundred dollars a year. <laughs> I'm talking about massive revolution, where ninety percent of the econ money hits the economy again, and you have a cultural and industrial and and a, a economic boom. Right along with you know the greatest boom in American history. That's what I'm talking about. You want crumbs? Fuck you. I'm not interested. Right? We want the whole thing. We want our nut back. We want our land back. We want our country back. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.